Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault, and today we're going to do a field strip video on the Staccato XC. Now, I know what some of you guys are probably saying. You're like, didn't you just do a field strip video of a Nighthawk Custom Sandhawk? And isn't that pretty much the same gun? It's a 2011 style 1911? Well, the answer is yes, except there's one difference. And I'm going to talk about that when I get to that part of the process. But let's go ahead and field strip this before I clean it and put it back together. As always, you want to drop the magazine, make sure there is no ammunition. Then we will pull the slide back and ensure that the chamber is empty. You want to visually inspect that chamber and it looks like we are clear. The only tool you may need for disassembly will be a simple punch. Some people will not even need this. My fingers are kind of fat and I have a hard time pushing the slide stop through the frame. So sometimes having a little bit of an assist with a little punch helps me a lot. So the first thing we're gonna do is pull the slide back to the disassembly notch. I will hold it in place, turn the gun to the other side. I will use this punch and push that slide stop through, pull that out, and now the slide will simply come off the frame. So there's our lower and here's our upper. Now, this is where this slide comes apart a little bit different than the Nighthawk Custom and something that I really like. This has a toolless guide rod. In my other video, I talked about how I had to make a paper clip into a tool to go through a little hole to compress the spring so I could get it out. You don't have to do it on this particular firearm. So you simply push the guide rod through and you see it has this little lever here. All you have to do is push the front of it in and then pull it back a little bit and then it will hold in place and now the pressure is compressed on that spring which means you can pull the whole guide rod and recoil assembly out. Well, once I move that drop down link and there it is. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? And now the barrel will come out the front of the slide and that's all it takes to disassemble one of these. It's even easier than a standard 1911. Isn't that pretty cool? All right, so let me go ahead and clean this up and we'll reassemble it. All right, so I got this firearm all cleaned up. So let's go ahead and put it back together and the assembly is gonna be the opposite of disassembly. We're gonna start with the slide and the barrel. The barrel goes in the front of the slide like all 1911s or most 1911s. Then we're gonna make sure this link is in the down position. Then we're gonna put this toolless recoil spring assembly in through the front. Might have to unlock the barrel just a little bit here to make it fit. Up oh, there we go. And kind of rotate it into place. That's the most important thing to make sure those little legs wrap around the barrel. And there it is. Go ahead and push this forward now. And then once that is far enough forward, the toolless recoil spring closes. And now you should be able to slowly let off that pressure. And now your recoil spring is in the firearm again. Now, turn the slide over. Once again, make sure that link is in the downward position. We're going to put the slide on the frame. We're gonna get it back to the point, and this is the hard part to get on camera, where that link is lined up with the slot for the slide stop. Put that through, not all the way. Then we're gonna pull it back to the disassembly notch hold it in place and hopefully this slide stop will fit in without me needing to push in the detent. Let's see if that is the case. And it is, no idiot scratch, and the gun is now back together. Let's go ahead and put the magazine in, make sure the gun holds open, it sure does. And there you go. So, that is a field strip and reassembly of the Staccato XC. A little bit different than your standard 2011s with that toolless guide rod. So there you go, that's the main difference, but I wanted to document it and make a video about it. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.